And then, there was life on Earth. One cannot help but wonder and be amazed by this, the greatest gift of all, the gift of life, and sometimes be overwhelmed by the fact that we have so many more questions than answers. Yet we find solace when we think of life as represented by the simplest and smallest manifestations. And once again, we are humbled by this most astonishing example of nature's unique container of cosmic magic, the seed. indeed. Seed is life and life is seed. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Professor Joel Farrant, who has a doctorate in plant physiology and cell biology. She will be telling you all about seed. We will also introduce you to many other plant biologists and I'm sure that you will enjoy the experience of sustaining the journey of life on earth. I'm Professor Joel Farron from the University of Cape Town and I've been doing research on seeds for a while and I consider seeds to be nuggets of gold. They're propagatory units which have all the potential when they germinate to give life to a new crop, a new plant. So they form the basis of our food chain. We eat plants, animals eat plants and we eat animals. Seeds are a bit like you and I. They start life from, with a mummy and a daddy the pollen grain is, is the dad, the egg within an ovary is the mum. Well, as they grow, the little embryo grows by cell division first and gets bigger and bigger and it accumulates around it a whole lot of nutrients, proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, which make them very nutritive, which is why we eat seeds. I mean, I just think of a cashew nut or a macadamia nut, very rich in energy for us. They also will always have a seed coat, which protects them from the environmental conditions and actually sometimes prevents them from germinating until the time is right. And I'll tell you more about that later. Seed is life, life is seed. Seed plants, the most abundant and familiar component of vegetation on Earth, comprise an estimated 250,000 to 300,000 species and form a crucial form of survival and well-being. Not only do they provide a significant portion of the food we eat, the air we breathe, our shelter, cures and protection from illness, but in their sustainability, their beauty, vigor, even dormancy, we find hope, confidence and reassurance that the cycle of existence on our planet continues. This journey is a quest for knowledge and understanding of this smallest but powerful miracle by looking at some samples from the vast diversity that nature has to offer. The world's food supply depends on about 150 plant species. It is vital to ensure continued genetic diversity of these species to avoid vulnerability that could affect production worldwide. Agricultural diversity helps to provide stability for farmers who grow a range of crops. If one particular crop or variety fails, the others help to make up for the loss. It's almost like having insurance against the elements of nature. Farmers can learn from scientists, and scientists can learn from farmers. For example, an experienced farmer's knowledge of local varieties or land races and the environment is crucial. Likewise, the complex techniques of modern plant breeding and genetic modification have much to offer. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations estimates that there are roughly a quarter of a million cultivated varieties available for agriculture, but less than 3% of these are in use today. With disuse comes neglect and possibly extinction. Seed is life, life is seed. 